Good morning, teachers. I'm going to show you how to email families through RenWeb. So once you're logged into your RenWeb account, you're going to go to the hamburger at the top left or the three lines, and you're going to scroll down to communications. Now, you might see a few more options in mind than yours, but you should all see the communications option. Once inside of the communications option, you're going to make sure a few settings are you're going to make sure that a few settings are set for you. So first, you want to make sure your name's in there and that your email's in there. I always carbon copy to self because this will send a copy to your Gmail account. So that way you can save that information. And you're going to include a subject here. Now, RenWeb uh, communications might time out. So if you want to type an email into a Google Doc and then copy and paste it in, you can do that. Uh, or else you might lose your data from the message portion. So you're going to type in your email that you're going to send, blah, blah, blah. And then if you have created your signature in the signature section, uh, that information is in the video slides, then you should see that auto populate there. From there, you're going to go to filter. Filter is where you are going to select who the email is going to. So you're filtering out who the recipients will be. Um, if you want to choose by student, you can. If you want to choose by staff, you can. If you want to choose by a specific class, you can do that as well. You can also choose under substatus specific grade level. So if you want to send it to a grade level. Uh, once you've filtered out, it's going to pull in those students here. If you select the all box, click the double arrow and move those students over, you can do that. You can just move everybody over. You can also select one or two students and move them over with the single arrow. Make sure you move only over to this block the students that you're wanting to have the communication sent to. This doesn't mean the email is going to the student, however. So now we're going to choose who it's going to that is listed under that student profile. So if you're sending emails to parents, we always want to send them to correspondence and custody. That is a requirement. That is who we are sending if we're sending to parents. If you want to also include the grandparent, you may do that. If you want to ensure that it's going to the mother, the father, emergency contacts, you have plenty of options here. But correspondence and custody is the first stop. If you want to also copy, let's say you're in the upper school and you want the student to be on that email as well, then you would also select student at the bottom. So this is how you would choose that. Um, don't worry about the admissions fields for classroom. Make sure that you're choosing student under students. So if I were you best practice, sending an email to parents, correspondence and custody, want to include student, then make sure you check student at the bottom. Then if you click on recipients, you'll be able to see exactly who the email is going to. I would always double check this to make sure it's only going to the people that you want it to go to. Then I always go back to compose, make sure it's everything that I want it to be, then click send message and your message is off to the races. If you want to double check, that the student received that email, you can do that in RenWeb. So you would go back to the RenWeb tab, you would go to students, and you should be able to see the students that you teach. I'm going to use Eli Aber here. And then I'm gonna go on the right-hand side and I'm gonna click on email history. When you click on email history, you should be able to see populate the emails that you have sent, if you have sent any, if not, um, you may be able to click view all staff if you have that permission to be able to see who has sent them to that student and that will populate. Now, this is who has what um, emails have gone to the student. If you want to see which emails have gone to Eli's parents, then you're going to go back to dashboard. You're going to choose one of his parents. And then from there, you're going to click the email history of that parent. And there you'll be able to see the emails that have been sent by yourself to that parent. So that way you can double check. If you have a question about an email that's been sent and you can't find the data, feel free to give me a, a ticket and I am happy to look up the information for you. Thanks team.